In a move that is meant to stem a fallout within the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition, President William Ruto Wednesday met election losers allied to Kenya Kwanzaa coalition who are yet to learn state jobs. The meeting, held in State House Nairobi, involving over 40 poll losers, comes in the backdrop of murmurs that had escalated in the president's camp, with those who view themselves as founders of the ruling coalition lamenting on being left out in the formation of government so far. Some of the positions that were up for grabs and have since been filled included the cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries' posts. According to reliable sources in the meeting, some of the notable names that were present include former Kakamega Senator Cleofas Malala, who unsuccessfully vied for the Kakamega gubernatorial seat, former Bahati MP Kemani Ngunjiri, former Laikipia woman rep Kate Warogoro, former Soy MP Caleb Kositani, former nominated senators Isaac Mwaura and Millicent Omanga, and former Mumias East MP Benjamin Washiali. According to those present during the meeting, the president sought to calm the waters as he assured them of inclusion in the next round of appointments. Those who might miss out on the 23 CAS slots will have a chance in ambassadorial positions, CEOs of parastatals and board memberships. Equally, the proposal to have Kenya Kwanzaa parties folded and consequently form a grand ruling party UDA featured during the meeting with the president giving his support to the proposal, which, according to him, is the direction they will pursue in the near future. This proposal, however, has been received with mixed reactions, rattling some of President William Ruto's key allies whose parties enable them to maintain a strong footing in their respective regions. <laughs> It will be remembered that William Ruto and Uhuru Kenyatta pulled a similar stunt while forming the Jubilee Party ahead of the 2017 general election. This was after five years of the duo in power on an alliance with TNA and URP as a coalition's majority parties. It remains to be seen if Kenya Kwanzaa will pull the party's merger months to the 2027 general election